And we can see here that Power Query has automatically gone into that folder, opened those files, and consolidated the data within each file. No copying and pasting required. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automatically consolidate Excel worksheets using the Power Query editor. So let's get started. You can see here in my folder, I have five Excel files. We can take a quick look at the files. Here's our first file, just some, uh, really a list of passengers that were on board the Titanic and some information about those passengers. But the problem is the information is split across one, two, three, four, five different files. But the key is the files all follow the same format. So they all have the same column names. So we can use Power Query to automatically consolidate these files. Before we do that, let's go ahead and close the files. They need to be closed in order for Power Query to consolidate them. And we can see here, we just have a blank worksheet. So we're gonna go over to our data tab in the ribbon. And normally we would select get data from a table or a range. But in this case, we want to get the data from a folder on our desktop, which contains the files. So I'm gonna click get data from file from folder. We're going to navigate to the folder on our desktop called files, hit open. And we can see here it's pulled up a list of all of the files in that folder that we selected. So let's go ahead and click the combine option. We'll click combine and load. Now it's asking us for a sample file. So because all of the files are the same, we can really pick any file. And within that file, we'll click the data tab really just giving Power Query a template to follow when consolidating the data. Hit OK. Let that load. And we can see here that Power Query has automatically gone into that folder, opened those files, and consolidated the data within each file. No copying and pasting required. If we filter column A here by our source, we can see we have data file one, two, three, four, five. So this is a really easy way to consolidate data files using Power Query. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out as well. Let me know in the comments below what my next video should be.